Oh, hello, Raleigh. I'm Robert Quartz, and I invite you to discover what's in your backyard. And I'm very lucky today to be sitting with my good friend and local entrepreneur, Greg Witt. Greg, tell us a little bit about what you do. Well, it's funny that you mentioned backyard because I do special event programming, sometimes in backyards, sometimes in your churches, and sometimes in your corporations, and sometimes in your kid's school because I bring a van full of drums. Ooh. You set up a circle of chairs. We put everybody in them and teach them to play nicely together. So really, it's about helping groups work on these old world ideas for connection, culture, and wellness. I just happen to do it uh, under the moniker of Drum for Change, ah. right? Beat the change you wish to see is my whole thing. So it's, it's about creating vibrant cultures in our neighborhoods and, and our workplaces. That's fantastic. What if I have no rhythm at all? Doesn't matter because you're walking, talking, and breathing. It's in there. Uh, the trick is to bring that out and put it in your paws. Um, and I can imagine that if you got everybody drumming, that is just, uh, I mean, you feel so good when you're sitting there yeah. beating on a drum. Well, sure. Everybody's got that pent-up aggression, right? They, they've got those frustrations, and drumming is a great way to release those. And that's why there's so much um, clinical research about drumming for wellness. Yeah. That says what, this research? Well, it says that you know when you do this with other people, you feel great and you feel like you're a part of something bigger than yourself. And really, that's what we all want out of life. Um, it seems though if you're doing schools to corporate, you have no age limit. I really don't. I mean, toddlers, you know, that's not a lot of fun. And seniors, I had this guy one time that took his teeth out and started drumming. And that was kind of yucky. But you do it. You know, it's all good. But I tend to work with elementary school to, uh, well, elders, I guess is the way to put it. Nice. And uh, why did you choose Raleigh? Well, I choose Raleigh. Choose, I choose, I choose it. I choose it once. I choose it, and then I spit it out, and then I choose it again. No, um, I came to Raleigh to attend NC State. I thought I was going to be an engineer. Me too, except yeah. an engineer. That's tough work. Yeah, yeah, and I didn't get along with math or science, so we gave that up and, and wound up pursuing other things that ultimately led to this adventure. Uh, Ten years in business this week, in fact. Wow, happy yeah, anniversary. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, helping people get along. So um, one of the powers of local is better goods and services, but you seem to have a very unique approach to that. Um, I can't think of anyone that does what you do. Really? Well, that's interesting because there's about 15 of us across North Carolina. Really? And it's kind of a growing industry. You might call it drum circles or uh, musical wellness or you know, music therapy has been around for a long time. But it's really not a therapeutic approach. I'm not interested in a clinical diagnosis for anyone. I just want people to have a good time and maybe we can just lay some metaphors in there about how uh, these old indigenous societies have been doing this for centuries, wow. uh, but we've forgotten how. So the idea is to reintroduce some of these concepts about getting along. And if we wanted to find you online, where would we look? I'm online at Drum for Change. That's drumforchange.com. Uh, Greg, really appreciate it. Thank Thanks you so much for being yeah. uh, and choosing Raleigh to be local. What a treat. It's good to be here, and I hope to see you there. Don't forget, everything you need is where? In your backyard. In your backyard. Let's try that again. Don't forget, everything you need is where? In your backyard. Check us out.